Um, my thought process during blitz pickup is honestly just the first thing I think of is to not let Steven or Ryan get hit. But um, my vision is usually, I'm usually looking from the linebackers to the corners to the safeties. Or if a safety walks down in the box, he auto automatically becomes a threat. But we also have plays where I have to watch the DNs also coming off the edge. So I usually have to see everyone on the field. My technique when blocking a pass rush usually varies between, depending on what size the, the, the defender is. If they're bigger, like a DN or something, I usually try to cut block them. To get, to get their hands down so they can't get in the throwing lanes. But um, if it's a linebacker or safety or any DB, I usually just try to keep my shoulders square, feet about shoulder width apart, make a good initial contact. Uh, what makes a good um, pass blocker is someone who knows who to, who to block at all times. Because you know, at this level, there's a lot of different blitzes coming from a lot of different you know, places. So you have to know who to block at all times. It comes from watching film. Early in the week, you know what starts looking for. You know what the blitz starts looking like. So uh, usually, but they each defender has their own little tail of when he's coming or when he's backing off. Tail, like what, for instance, if a corner is coming, he's probably a little bit closer to the in the box, like closer to the tight end if he's coming off the edge. If a safety is usually about 12 yards deep, and then one play you notice he's at about eight yards, usually he's coming. If a linebacker is usually sitting about two yards in front of the linebacker next to him. Usually he's coming on a blitz. Pass blocking for a running back is so important because um, being at the line can only block five guys. You know, if they send six, we have to be able to we have to be able to pick up that extra guy. And being if the the line slants right and they send a blitz coming off our backside, you know, with Steven being the right hand quarterback, the running back has to be able to pick up that guy coming off his backside. Uh, the coaches teach me by you know we just go with film. You know, I watched uh, Coach Hurley Brown talk. We'll watch a lot of the older guys like Marshall Falk or Edron James or some of the greats that was all around running backs and showed us the value of blocking. He'll get us out there on the sleds and, you know, we'll do early work with the linebackers and stuff to teach us the proper technique at, you know, at full speed. That's usually how they teach us. You just got to hit them. You don't think about it. You just hit them. We're going to see who's been in the weight room the longest. Come full speed on full speed and we'll see what happens. entrance. You've seen it before and it never grows old. in the throw, got a receiver coming back, he doesn't see him, instead throws it deep down the field, Fournier set, he's got it, and 